Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying brownies in three different ways. First of all, we have Dippy's Vegan and Nut Free Brownie Cookie Sandwich. And then we have the Bake Shed Dark Chocolate Brownie. And this is the, with love, the killer brownie. So the killer brownie was $6.99. Bingo. The chocolate, the bake shed was three forty nine, and divvies were five ninety nine. We found all three at the fresh market. So we're gonna try the divvies first, and I did not bring. Here, we don't need them. It, it's okay. I can do like this. There we go. So this is a brownie. It looks like a whoopie pie. It looks like a whoopie pie. It sure does. So, uh, Divi's vegan and nut free. You get three of these. Baked in small batches in Divi's dedicated peanut free, peanut tree nut egg and dairy free bakery. Divi's believes that celebrations are better with snacks and snacks are better with friends. Divi's treats are sweet, simple, and made to share. Three servings in the container, one, one sandwich is 340 calories. And these are made in Connecticut. It's www.divvies.com. You want that or you want? Sure, I'll take this. Unless you were gonna eat it. Was this your? No, it's plenty. That's sweeter than I thought it was gonna be because it smells very dark. Mm -hmm. um, but that cream adds a layer of, or a level of sweetness to it that mm -hmm. I think just the brownie by itself would have been drastically missing. Yeah, I think, um, I think that cream is what it needed because mm. the brownie itself, it's a little dry, mm. but I do like the texture of it. It has more of a, it's not a cake brown, uh, like brownie. Mm -hmm. It's more of a crumbly brownie. Yeah, and it's not a whoopie pie texture either. It's not that cakey kind of texture. No, it's not a cakey texture. It is brownie, but it's a firmer, a crumbly brownie. Yeah, and the cream is not that squishy cream where you bite into it and it all squishes out the sides. It's a firmer cream, mm -hmm. almost like an Oreo cookie kind of cream. It's right. a thick cream. I it's do good. like it. It is a darker chocolate. It is, but it's good. But I guess it's very good. So can eat those yep. all day long. These are uh, the Bake Shed uh, dark chocolate brownie plant based gluten free. And I tell you what, the writing on this package is so small that I literally could not figure out where it was made. Because the, it, well, it's a black package and they used red writing. And the red writing, you, something's going on outside. Know, right? going on. <laughs> um, so we, we just keep on going. Um, yeah, something's always going on around here. Um, but, uh, it's it, the, the, it's so hard to read because it's red on black, uh, but they're, they come from the UK. Um, so it says uh, one brownie, 75 grams is 290 calories. These were sitting in a larger box at the fresh market. Um, so that larger box may have had an expiration date on the whole box, but there is a place for them to put a Best Buy date on each individual brownie and there's not one on here. So I don't know what the date was. We're just keeping our fingers crossed. That's more of a fudgy brownie mm -hmm. texture. I like the texture. It's a little dark for me. It's dark. It's, it's missing sweetness. Yes. Like really bad. Yes. There, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it is dark chocolate. I do think it's a good quality. I do mm -hmm. like the texture. I think the texture is nice. It's not one that I would choose though, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would like it. I do really think a lot of people would enjoy it if you enjoy dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people, some people love dark chocolate. Yes. Breakfast. That's what And you when like. you go for a dessert, that's what you go for. Right. When I go for a dessert, I go for sweet, something sweet. So yep. this has very, very, very little sweet. So it wouldn't be for me. That said, if you like dark chocolate, I would recommend you try it because yep. I do think it's good quality. Yeah, I do too. Okay. And the texture is really good. This is uh, the Killer Brownie Company with love. We have tried Killer Brownie in the past. 
We bought them at Jungle Gems International Market and we bought them in containers like this and reviewed them. And somebody had told me a long time ago, the fresh market sells killer brownie. They do, and I've looked before, but normally they're behind the bakery counter and they're on a plate, so you have to buy an individual piece. They're not pre-packaged like this. And frankly, I would rather buy them in a package like this. So the company name is Killer Browning. Killer Browning. It's and with the love is the style. Of this with treatment. love is because it was out for Valentine's Day. Ah, so but, I had it backwards, I didn't know. But now the uh, the date on it was is in March. So we, yeah, this even though it, it came out for Valentine's Day, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good. And these are made in Dayton, Ohio. So that's why I'm sure we saw them at Jungle Gems in Ohio. Uh, but this is chocolate brownie with chocolate chips, blondie brownie, creamy caramel, festive sprinkles, white chocolate chips five bars it's a 12 ounce package one piece 68 grams is 290 calories okay i didn't know if i need that or not but it, it opens pretty easily and these i'm going to take one right out of the middle these were bought um, um and it, they were refrigerated so when we brought them home, I put them in the refrigerator. The other ones were not in the refrigerator. Um, sustainably sourced cocoa, real Belgian chocolate, 100% hormone free butter, killer brownie, um, killerbrownie.com. Okay. I like it that it's cool. Because mm -hmm. that uh, caramel, mm -hmm. it's like kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. um, it's not sticky and runny, it's kind of tough, like a Brock's caramel. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's got a grainy texture to it, the brownie itself does. I think it's the blondie that has the graininess. It's really good. I don't remember, and I could very well be completely wrong, but I was thinking when we bought them at Jungle Gems that they were just out on a table. I don't, I don't remember them being cold. Maybe they were though. Um, but I do love it cold. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right. It is very specifically because of the caramel. Mm -hmm. It's so incredibly sweet. But the texture of it, it it's, it's like a, a thick Brock's uh, caramel square. But it's so nice that it's cold. And really, that's what the whole brownie tastes like mm -hmm. is that caramel. Yeah. And, and it's not it's not as firm as a Brock's because I said Brock's, but it's not quite as firm. But it reminds you of that texture. Yes, because it's it's been in the refrigerator. Yeah, so it's firm. And yes, it's firm. It's not runny. But out of everything that's going on with that, even the chocolate, you come away with, oh, I've just eaten a caramel. Yeah, that's the that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's the, really good. The though. textures are incredible because you do get that cold layer of caramel but you're also getting that uh, chocolate from the brownie and then you're getting the blondie and all it's just a really nice combination of textures mm -hmm. that yeah, goes really well together I, that's that's my favorite of the absolutely yeah. hands down yes i i think that is very very mm -hmm. good and I, the, I the blondie it. has a nice vanilla flavor too because mm -hmm. so i'm left with caramel but i'm also getting a little bit of that vanilla blondie flavor that's left true over too. yeah that's true I'm so almost like you had a vanilla caramel that's true. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do get that. But um, the chocolate, I agree. The chocolate. The, the chocolate, chocolate. You really very very thin layer. Of yeah, you're really not getting the chocolate at all. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. There is a touch of vanilla yeah. in that car. It's wonderful. Yeah, but that out of the three things, that would be the one I would go to mm -hmm. again and again. The other two, I do think they're good quality. Mm -hmm. it These just, little sandwiches are are really good. Mm -hmm. so. It just depends on what you are specifically looking for in a dessert. We like really sweet, but you might not want that. When you go for a candy bar, you might go for a dark chocolate candy bar. So you would love uh, the one from the shed. Is that what mm -hmm. it was called? The bake shed. Yeah. Well, so, and these are what vegan and all that stuff. Yeah. And so if you're going for vegan, I think I would give the divvies a try. I do think it's good quality. It just all depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. So none of these are bad. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.